the actual kind of pivotal event that led me to uh, teaching was the standard reasons of midlife crisis uh, elimination of the program that I was responsible for uh, at Upjohn and just dumb luck. Uh, one of the persons who reviewed our program at uh, Upjohn and suggested it be eliminated was the interim chair of pharmacology at the University of Colorado. He offered me a job as the uh, the, the head of the pharmacology curriculum out there because nobody wanted to do it. And again, once I got to Colorado, I really enjoyed working with med students. And I think that, you know, in some ways, that's probably the only uh, realistically useful thing I've ever done in my life is, is help it, uh, train medical students. Well, I think, you know, first of all, you have to judge the man for the classroom. Uh, inside the classroom, he's brilliant. Um, you know, whether he incorporates, he loves incorporating Harry Potter or what he calls ninja stars um, into his lecture. He has these lectures that, um, you know, you learn a lot throughout the lecture. Certainly, you don't learn everything. It's medical school. But, you know, for me personally, even though I, <laughs> I have to go back and rewatch all his lectures, I can... I, when I'm sitting here in this beautiful classroom, I can sit down and think to myself, wow, this was a great lecture. You know, we want to learn from him. We're interested in learning his material, and that's what makes a good professor, is when you go home and you're like, okay, cool, I get to study Dr. Fitzpatrick's lecture. You know, he has probably some of the highest attendance rates out of all our professors, just our classes are not required, and sometimes it's tough to get people motivated to get to classes, and everybody loves going to see him. And hear what he has to say because we can really learn so much from him. When I think of Dr. Fitzpatrick, I think about a lot of integrity. And it's not even inside the classroom, you know. It's more how to treat people. And um, he really, what I get from him is just um, how to treat your patients and how to be good to people. I don't know if that's how you um, feel in the classroom. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially with how to treat patients because... You know, he doesn't just give you a list of side effects, say, hey, memorize these for boards. Okay. He says, you know, these are the side effects that make it hard for patients to comply. So be able to, you know, guide them through that when you eventually become a doctor. You know. The compassion he has for the students, it just, it blows my mind how much he cares about the students and what they learn. And he'll revise his lectures or he'll take more time to explain in detail or he'll send out extra lecture slides or um, an explanation just to make sure that we get it, what's important. Because he doesn't really care that you're learning it now for the test or whatever. He really cares that it's ingrained for the future. Our lowest point, like when we're about ready to take boards and we're being slammed in reproductive development, we're just all about to cry and tear our hair out. You know, he comes in and he just, I walked out just inspired, like my yeah. idealism to become a doctor was totally revived after he spoke to us. And just the overall notion was that He'd worked with us and come to know us over two years, and that he knew that no matter what, we were one of the brightest classes that KCMB has produced. And it just made me feel really great again and have a lot of, um, a lot of um, confidence in myself to go and take those exams. Cause one of the important things about Dr. Uh, Fitzpatrick is that he makes sure that the students are at their A game, they're at their top. Frank has often uh, stated that he wants to make sure that the students get the best education possible. And we can all be assured that with people like Frank, Frank Fitzpatrick here, our students will be able to take care of somebody's father, mother, sister, brother, son, or daughter, and make sure that they get the best health care possible. I don't know if anyone has talked about the shirts that we're wearing, but it says Fitzy's <laughs> Army. And it's because uh, Dr. Fitzpatrick is a huge fan of Harry Potter and we As might are we. be <laughs> the second biggest fans <laughs> and so our uh, entire uh, third year class made a shirt for him and Fitzy's Army is in, in a reference to um, Dumbledore from Harry Potter who is, <laughs> you know the godfatherly figure in that book and we really see him as that. I don't Just because he's Dr. Fitzpatrick, he is one of the kindest professors ever, uh, really funny, not afraid to be a human, you know, I, he brought I, his mom to class one day, to he'll, today. he'll say jokes and in front of the class. It lends itself particularly well to uh, metaphors based on Hogwarts and Harry Potter, so I brought my wands today.